Hey man, can you spare me some change? Uh, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. You are so disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't eaten anything. <laughs> it feels like you can eat anything, whatever comes in your way. <laughs> you won't even spare insects. Oh God, I am so disgusted. Hey man, why would you say so? Why would I say this? Just look at yourself, man. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror? You are so fat. I can't even look at you. You can't even sit up straight because of your belly and fat thighs. Look around these wrappers. How did you afford those? Ah, these are all leftovers. What people give me. I need a few bucks to eat something. You look like a gentleman. With your dressing, one can make it out that you have lots of money. A few bucks won't affect you. Will they? Yes, you are right. I am. I am rich. But I don't feel like helping you. Just look at yourself, you fat prico. Your body structure is pathetic. And obviously, you can't even unfold yourself because you can't even move. How did you live with yourself? Well, I can't do anything about my obesity. This is a disease. That's why I'm asking your help. I can't afford even meds for my disease. Hey man, please help me something. No man, sorry. I don't want to waste my time and money on you. You need to get up and earn as we do. <laughs> Though you can't move with these legs and fat belly. Unlike you, I have an interview. You have already wasted my precious time. People like you wait months to talk to me. You fat hippo. I can't move in this condition. That is why I'm in the street begging people for money. I don't want to hear your excuses. You can use your body for some good use to crush some granite or something. You work fat so. Oh my God, it's you. You are stinking. When was the last time you had a shower? Hundreds of people walk from here. Why are you spoiling everyone's day? Just leave from here. Otherwise, I'll call cops. You mean the people who are going for the interview to Francis and company? Are you also going for the bond? For the post of uh, senior lawyer? Wait a minute. How do you know this? You fat hippo. I've been watching the people dressed like you and going before you. They said they were getting late for this job. Then I asked one person and he was kind enough to tell me about this company. Now I'm sitting in front of this main gates of the company and I assumed you were also going for the one too. Hmm, you are such a fool. I don't know why I stopped to hear your crap. You homeless punk. Well, I've met the CEO quite a lot of time. He's a very humble person. He always lends me money and his employees are also humble too. This Francis and company gets me free food also. Humble? Tell me more about him. Like what are his hobbies? What does he like anything? You can tell? Well, all I know about him is that he loves giving charity and his company gives a lot of funds to the NGOs who work for the poor like me. <laughs> Don't be so clever. I know you will say anything to take this note. Forget it. Hey, you could have given this to me. What are you going to do? Fight me? Chase me? <laughs> Look at yourself, you poker. Hey man. Can you spare me some change? I have not eaten from the last two days. Hey man, don't give him a single penny. He's a liar. He'll try to lure you for some bucks. Don't help him. Hey man, relax. He's just a homeless person. And he's got this disease. How in the world can he lure you or damage you in any way? You don't know this clever fat prick. <laughs> he tried to convince me that he knows the CEO of Francis and Company. <laughs> Do you really think that this fat knows the CEO of Francis and Company. Don't help him. Bro, I don't need his help. I can help him anyways. You should thank God that you are not in his place. Come on, man. A few bucks won't hurt you or me, but they can surely be of great help to him. Oh, damn. Uh, I'm. I'm so sorry, man. I don't have any change. Uh, I'm so sorry. But uh, what if I come back from my interview and pay you on my way back? I hope Francis and company must have an ATM inside. Thanks, man. And you better think of working with me. I can pay you good money. 
you know, we'll place you on our cash counter where you can sit and work easily. So do think about it. Now I got to go, huh? Wait, Francis? Are you going for an interview at Francis and Company? Yes, man. For which position? Well, uh, I'm going for the post of senior advocate. And you? Good luck, mate. I'm going for there too, for the same position. And honestly, don't waste your time. Do you even know who I am? Well, uh, you don't seem familiar. I'm the famous advocate who worked for the James Automation. You must have heard about this. Well, I'm the person behind their success. You surely get rejected when they see me. But you can work for me. I'm a rich person and I can pay you. You can open doors at my office or you know, maybe drive or something. Oh, that's great, man. I haven't heard about your company, but you must have great experience. But we should avail every opportunity, shouldn't we? Hey, man, what's your name? Uh, I'll be back in an hour. I hope you'll be here only. Where this fat so can go. <laughs> well, where can I go from here? My name is Francis. And I'll be here for another two hours. Francis? Francis? What? what? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he can't be the CEO, right? You are not CEO, right? Yeah, I am the CEO, Francis. I'm sitting here since morning. My secretary is doing the interviews inside the building, but we need honest, humble, and helpful people for our company. That's why I'm sitting here myself to have a ground check. Oh my, I, I don't believe you. Are you a fool or something? Why would you ever do this? Well, I wanted to extract the true personality of my employees. Maybe that is the reason that we are on the topmost of the networks of the most successful companies. It's not because of our achievement, but because of our behavior towards our clients and the normal person at every level. Oh, what's your name again? Uh, sir, my name is uh, Tony, sir. Tony. Hey, Anna. I've sent you a picture. His name is Tony. Select him for the post of senior advocate. I'm sending him over to you for the other official formalities. Uh, by the way, how much we are offering to our senior advocates? Sir, $25,000 per month. Ah, $25,000. Double it. And send my car. I'm done for the day. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down, sir. Looking forward. Sir, sir, please, sir. sir. Sir, listen to me. Sir. Tony got the job and Richard lost the opportunity because of this arrogance and overconfidence. If he had helped Francis and gave him a few bucks, he would have gone the job. A true character of a person can be judged in difficult situations. We should treat everyone with kindness and respect regardless of their class, race, or physical appearance. Richard fat shamed Francis, which is a very bad habit. It can affect a person mentally, cause depression and lack of confidence. Even if we want to advise someone to eat healthy or exercise, we should choose our words very carefully. We don't know how much the other person is suffering, mentally or physically. We should always help people around us and be kind to everyone. A few bucks won't affect us, but they carry great weight for the needy. And like Richard, we should never be arrogant. Even if we have great achievements in life, we should keep working hard and stay humble. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to check out my daughter's new YouTube channel. It's so much fun to make and even more fun to watch. Click the link above or the link in the description and it'll be pinned on the top of the comment section. Hope to see you there and remember to subscribe. Unfortunately, you can't comment on those videos, but you can still comment on this video. So leave your comments. I love reading them and I try to reply to as many as I can. You can also follow me on Facebook where you see some exclusive content on there. And if you want to see behind the scenes, Remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget to download the Samir Bhavnani app. It is available now on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. You can watch a lot of our premium content on there that isn't available on YouTube or any other platforms. And always remember to share this video to keep spreading positivity.